Hey, it's your boy Garrett. Real quick, I just want to talk about digital line art. If you've never used Manga Studio for drawing lines, hopefully I can convince you to try it. I think the software is actually now called Clip Studio, but whatever, it's the same software, it doesn't matter. The point is, I recommend it because you can draw in vectors, and then you can edit your lines after they've already been drawn. Imagine I had drawn this entire thing rasterized in Photoshop, but then I realized, oh no, I gotta make the lines thinner or something. Well, I, I would be shit out of luck, right? There's no clean, efficient way to do that. I mean, it's it's difficult. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look good. But the point is, in Manga Studio, if you draw on a vector layer, all you have to do is go to the Correct Line Width tool. Select the width you want, and then draw over the original image. You can make it thinner. You can make it thicker. You can even adjust the anti-aliasing on the lines whenever you want. Just hit Select All and adjust the pixel smoothing in your object tool. You can go solid pixels, you can blend it, you never lose your original drawing, and you never lose any resolution. You can even alter control points on any of your lines. The only drawback is that you can't copy and paste these vectors into, let's say, Illustrator. Uh, but other than that, I think it's pretty sweet. Okay, so you're probably thinking, great, I can edit my lines, big deal. But think of the control you have here. You can also change the width at any section of a line. Like if I wanted this guy to pop out more, I might add some depth by putting emphasis on the front. All I have to do is get my scale up line width tool, and then I gradually increase the thickness in the front, and I thin out the back. See how it looks like it's sort of fading into the background? You get that effect just from the line width. And this is a really powerful tool. You can do a lot with this. And you know what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking about etching. Etching is my favorite art style, and it's all lines. It's kind of hard to tell on the screen, but this is actually a very detailed way of drawing carefully controlled lines to render out light and dark. And look at how fucking cool this is. It's like the original Dark Souls. I've tried it a couple times in the past. I've I need more practice with this style, but I guess you could just create a series of contours like on a topographical map, and then depending on the texture you want, you can crosshatch it. Here's a really basic attempt at like a sphere with a highlight and a shadow on it. I just, um, I'm just going to make the, uh, the lines in the shaded area thicker and thin out the highlight. And then when you zoom out, you can see, oh, it does kind of look like a rendering, but when you print it, you see it's all lines. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, you don't have to do this exact art style. You can use these same techniques to create a more expressionistic line drawing. The key is to keep it clean. And that's why I like Manga Studio for this. I'm going to put a link in the description to download the free trial version. Download it. Check it out. Uh, <laughs> you know, just keep it real clean. Uh, control your lines. And uh, be prolific. 